Hey, hello ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Bill Close. I'm here at the William H. Williner Genealogical Center in Auburn, Indiana. This is a place significant to me because it was largely funded by my grandfather's philanthropic foundation, the William H. Williner Foundation. It is a wonderful resource for investigation of a family's history, and it's a great resource for this area, for the DeKalb County, for Auburn, everybody in this area, and I expect a very wide area, uh, ultimately. We're here today on the 20th anniversary of the William H. Williner Genealogical Center, and I'm happy to be with Mr. Dale Enix, who is standing here in front of a marvelous limestone sculpture that was commissioned to grace the lobby of the center. This is really one of the most remarkable pieces of art in the state of Indiana, I would say. Dale, no, I know I made you blush. <laughs> it's hard but to tell under the beard, but. <laughs> the piece is called The Tree of Life and the central elements to the, to the novice eye would seem to be a globe of the earth and from it springs this great tree and on either side there's a man and a woman striding toward it. And it seems as though their energy is going right into the tree. Have I got this about right, Dale? I think, I think you're nailing it, actually. <laughs> um, uh, Tree of Life is an ancient symbol uh, that attends to a number of ideas, but I thought it was particularly appropriate here at the Genealogy Center. Scholars often refer to the Tree of Life as the Axis Mundi, which means the uh -huh. center of the earth. And so uh -huh. here we have this tree bursting out of the earth. But another part, if I may, um, part of the inspiration at that time, some 20 years ago. 20 years ago, <laughs> yeah. Was that um, my maternal family uh, landed on the old Auburn Road outside of Fort Wayne in the mid-1800s. Ah. They came from France, it's the Martin family. Uh -huh. And my great-great-grandparents uh, came at that time, but what I'm getting around to is, is there's this drawing that I have in my possession yes. of a tree that starts with their names at the, the base of the tree and all mm. the branches, successive branches that come out have the names of my great-grandparents, my grandparents, and eventually myself mm. and my son and so forth. So, wow, yeah. Which is pertinent to where we are now. Yeah. So, a genealogy center. So you literally have roots in the area. I literally do. <laughs> <laughs> and you you brought it you brought it into this marvelous thing. So when did you start sculpting, Dale? Well, I, people ask me when I started becoming an artist. I think uh, I was about two or three years old, literally. Ah. Uh, and yeah. so I grew up in Fort Wayne. I went to the Fort Wayne Art Institute. Graduated there. Um, went to Bloomington to go to graduate school. Uh -huh. Got out of graduate school. Was work. I worked in a log yard, so carved wood. Uh -huh. But I soon learned that Indiana limestone was the coin of the realm. Yeah. And it, it is abundant, and so I started picking it up and using it as a material for the work that I do. This was one of your earlier uh, very significant pieces. You've done. You've done works all over the, really, the Midwest. Is I've, that right? I've, I've had a couple of pieces in Japan, one in China, um, many in Indiana, and then throughout uh, the United States as well, here and there. But is it true, Dale, that this remains your very favorite work of art? Absolutely. <laughs> that you have done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now, actually, it was a pivotal piece. It yeah. Really was. Well, what I've noticed, I mean, this, this art of stone carving is, is wonderful. And now limestone is kind of literally malleable. Uh, it is a soft it, it isn't It isn't as 
It isn't like marble. So you're able to, to really put some remarkable patterns in here. And th these are kind of, these curly cues in the oceans are very Celtic looking. You know, it's, this could be on a Celtic cross one in of my Ireland. Influences have, have been ancient and so called primitive art from around the world. So. Well, this is like on the, the old uh, 17th century uh, maps of Iceland in, where you'd see whales and sea monsters. What else have we got? What other little well, there's a whale figures? Tail whale out tail. Of the water right there. And there's, a, there's a ship down here. Oh, there's a ship. And so there are details throughout the entire piece that just are happy <laughs> surprises. If you, you know, yeah. So where, where's Waldo sort of moment? Now but, we're so we're in we're in Auburn, Indiana, and Auburn is famous and is renewed every year. Its interest in the automobile with the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum and. We've noticed that you've got a, a car up here about 12 feet up. <laughs> it looks like a cord convertible. At the time, prior to making this particular piece, yeah. I was given a tour of the Auburn Cord Museum. Uh -huh. And I really was taken with a particular sports car there, uh -huh. right? Orange and yellow sports car. And it's important to me to include the history or elements of yeah. the community within the pieces that I do of this nature. And yeah. so that, that sports car is up there someplace or two. Oh, yeah, there it even, is up there. Yeah, it, it even has smoke coming out the back. I think it might need a valve check. <laughs> <laughs> and up at the very top, uh, is that brass? What is that? Oh, this gold leaf. That's 24 oh, karat gold. Gold leaf, and that's the sun. Is that yes. right? Yeah, it's, a, it's oh. a solar element within the composition. If you will, all this... All, Indiana limestone is really conducive to texture. Yeah. It really comes alive when you deal with it in texture. And all of these carvings were done like this, with a hammer and a chisel. Ah, huh. yeah. So... Um, that's the only way that I've found to be able to come about that, those sort of uh, energetic marks that I like to make. It's just, it's just remarkable. Uh, I read somewhere that in your works since this, you've be begun incorporating various metallic elements and other, other uh, materials other than in addition to the limestone, is that correct? That is correct. So often um, powder coated steel, raw steel, uh, aluminum, anodized aluminum, uh, bronze in some cases, uh -huh. um, you know, whatever seems to be called for for a particular um, uh, composition. But I continue to use gold leaf judiciously mm. yeah. uh, on some compositions as well. We see, you know, we're in a genealogy center, and we think of the family tree. Exactly. And you've got, you know, your grandfathers and grandmothers way back. But just the idea of a tree is just so appropriate. It is an, an ancient concept. In Sumerian, yeah. uh, there's, there are Sumerian images of uh, what are it's known as uh, the Tree of Life or the Axis Mundi. And so, you know, I try to tune into all that stuff and feed from the history of art and imagery and yeah. symbolism. So. Well, I don't know, Dale, the Sumerian Tree of Life is pretty far <laughs> from the Auburn Town Square. But, 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 <laughs> but where did we come from? Yes, you exactly. <laughs> yes. Well, from Earth we sprang and, you know, to Earth we return. But uh, a, wonderful, a wonderful thing you have here. I think you've achieved the perfect, the perfect piece here. And is there anything you wished you'd added? Has that ever come to mind or did you, did you feel that you'd nailed it? I, I think I mentioned I hadn't seen this piece in quite a few years. Yeah. 
And when I walked in the door, and I went, I still like that. <laughs> well, you know, so, so did the rest of us. <laughs> so I'm happy to hear that. So, you know, it's, 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 just, it's just wonderful. Uh, and what an addition to the genealogical center this piece is. It just means so much. I, it's important for me to say and let you know okay. how truly honored I have been to have been invited back here, but also initially to do this particular piece here. It's really, it, there's so much trust involved when a client, you know, comes to me and says, okay, do this large thing for our brand new building, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there's really, there's so many unknowns that the client really yeah. know, needs yeah. to trust, you know, what the artist has done previously, yeah. and that they'll pull through, and, and I'm honored by that. that well, I, th that I think the foundation made a wise choice, uh, and, uh, and it is, it's just a glorious thing that everyone needs to see if they haven't yet seen it. And perhaps it's time for a second visit. So, Dale, thank you so much. Thank you. Dale. It's good to have you back in town. And uh, I trust there will be many more visits in the future. I appreciate it so. very much.